guys, J5 here. Today I'm going to be going over my 10S ICC model. Just going to be going over all the specs, do a little playthrough, have some sounds. Um, the only uh, review I've seen on this is actually from 10S Guitars here on YouTube, and I haven't seen anything else. So just go over the specs, what I think of it, um, and yeah, let's get right to it. Hope everyone's having a great day. The 10S ICC model features a seafoam green relic finish that supposedly has a nitro finish. It's got a lightweight alder body, a Canadian maple neck, an Indian rosewood fretboard, 22 medium jumbo frets, a 12 to 16 inch compound radius, a 25.5 inch scale length with a C-shaped neck, it features a 43 millimeter bone nut. Uh, this one has Tesla TS1 Alnico pickups. It has a five way switch, a master volume, a tone one for the neck pickup, a tone two for the middle pickup, which is a little bit weird because I've only ever seen them for the bridge pickup. Uh, two point tremolo, locking tuners, and chrome hardware. Everything on here has a light relic to it. Um, they pay pretty good attention to detail to that. All the tuners, the pickups, I asked to have a little wear. There's nothing there. Can't complain. Um, the volume, tone knobs all have a, you know, a sort of relic finish. They're actually put on, um, they're put on wrong, but that's okay. It's just a, it's easy to just take them off really quick and just realign them. Um, fret works really good. Um, the neck just feels great. You can see it's all sanded off in the back over here. My serial number and uh, yeah the guitar feels great. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with their work. So here it is. Oh I actually have to mention the pick guard. You know, pulling the plastic off is usually one of those nice, satisfying things that you get to do whenever you get a new guitar. This one has given me so much trouble. I've only got half of it off. It's just really... <laughs> I don't know what it is with the plastic on this thing. I'm not. It's not really a complaint. It's just like, maybe it's just this pick guard. It's just the plastic is a pain in the butt to get off, and I don't know why. So, heads up for anyone who's ever again one of these you might not have as good of a time as you might think <laughs> um, pulling my 10s ICC model out of its case did have a kind of funky paint smell um, I don't know if that's made from the nitro finish or I don't know tell me what you think in the comments if you ever maybe ever got anything out of AliExpress or I don't know ever opened up a case and something smelled really funky I've never had happen to me before so <laughs> It was a little bit, um, it's a little new to me, but yeah, so I'm going to tune this thing up and play some sounds for it. It's got all the original strings on it. The 10S ICC model shipped to your door is $449. If you want a hard case, it will be $539, at least that's what I paid, so um, yeah, and I'm in the US, so $449 for a custom guitar to what I want. Can't really complain for the little things like the pick guard and um, yeah, the, the volume and tone knobs not being put on correctly. The pickup height seems a little off. I'm going to have this professionally set up next week. I'm leaving everything on here the same. I'm not changing the strings or anything. So I'm going to have my local luthier. He's going to go through the whole thing and I'm going to ask him his opinion, record it and put it up here. So we can get a uh, professional luthier's just insight on one of these 10s guitars and the build quality because so i'm going to play a little riff on uh on each pickup something simple and uh let's just get going mm -hmm. 